Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well today. Are you well? Today we're going to look at Archie. Archie who, you might say? And uh, that's a good question. A lot of people are saying that. And a lot of people are wondering where Archie is. A lot of people are wondering if he exists at all, apparently. But uh, a lot of people are wondering why we never see Archie or hear from him or hear of him or... Uh, see him or anything like that it seems to be i mean it seems to have just sort of disappeared into thin air uh just down the down the rabbit hole i guess and uh that's it's curious we're gonna ask the questions today we're gonna ask the tough questions archie who why don't we hear anything about archie on that note i'm gonna have some tea and i'm gonna ask you to leave in the comments below questions for future videos and you may very well uh be featured on an episode of famous fortunes but in any event if you are not subscribed to the channel then let it be known a subscription to famous fortunes brings a lifetime of good luck and good fortune uh so let's get into it today and ask the question of why do we not hear of archie very much what's the deal there what is the deal? What is going on? What is happening? Why do we not hear from Archie? Or of Archie, rather. He's a bit, a bit young to hear from him, but uh, hear of him. The cards are hot. All right, more tea. Seven of Pentacles. Have Seven of Pentacles. We have Page of Swords. We have the Nine of Coins, the Ten of Cups. The full underlying energy is the Page of Pentacles. And the Birth Mother card, the Queen of Pentacles. Ah, uh, the infamous Birth Mother card on Famous Fortunes. Aptly named, I would say. Aptly named. Now... What's the deal? Because why don't we hear from him? This is communication here, the Page of Swords. Uh, what do we have? It's... Well, funny enough, the focus is on a, wo is on a woman here. Uh, the, the focus is not on the page, if you like, on, on Archie. The focus is on pentacles the focus is on a woman and this seems to be a singular focus here uh, opulence and it seems to be on I, it's funny it's it's kind of like you can almost just slip this card out and you can just see here the focus is on the the seven uh, and the nine of coins together. It's it's a very a very sort of self focused here, self focused sort of self lavishness energy. And then you've got here the seven of coins. It's kind of looking and reviewing the sort of situation uh, to do with the pentacles. Uh, it is is it. I mean, the only thing I can think of besides those meanings, the only thing that comes to mind inspirationally from the cards is that there's some type of... I mean, there's, they're looking at a development stage here. and They're sort of looking at it and waiting for some stage of development. Uh, and there's just maybe no reason at the moment. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I struggle with these readings because it's hard to sort of wrap my head around them. But uh, that's what I'm seeing on the cards. I mean, here you've got a family. So we do have a family on the cards. Whew, to have a, have a deep uh, you know, sigh of relief that you see that on the cards, I suppose. But, uh, but then we have the Fool. So, oh boy. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Archie is... You know, the fool is an archetype. Archetypes royale, right? It's an archetype, and it's it's an it's an archetype that has many different meanings. But one of the meanings it has is kind of like going your own way. But being so young, it's hard to say you're going your own way at you know three years old. Uh, but it, it's more of he's going to be going his own way because he's sort of you know here he is 
going his own way. Here's the family. It's kind of, it's kind of as if he's been positioned. This is unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it's kind of from what I'm seeing on the cards being positioned to be outside of the family. It's not sort of, you know, he's not sort of included in the family anymore. It's all about, you know, well, it's all about a woman or maybe it's all about who knows, Girl power, I guess. Oh, boy. It's just uh, having to, you know, just get that out there. It's so tough. Imagine, I don't know how, I don't know who would wear, like, a, a dad power t-shirt when they've got a, a son. But in any event, um, let's, uh, I don't know who would do that. Uh, but in any event, I don't think anyone does that. But, you know, it, it's, it's very tough reading. This is actually one of the toughest readings from a number of, it's like, it's like, it's like looking at a rose bush and smelling the beautiful flowers you know, beautiful children, and then you just sort of, you're biting into the stem, and you're just getting it all you know, in your mouth, in the thorns, and all the rest of it, that's, that's this reading, that's what I'm seeing here, and that's what I'm feeling from this reading, energetically, it's, it is, it's like a barbed wire fence, <laughs> let that be known, let it be known, but, uh, I uh, would say that it's kind of it's kind of like he's not in the family in 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 that sort of sense being with the fool here and the ten of cups very odd very strange I mean there is a there is a dynamic here between mother or birth mother and son I I don't or birth mother and child let's say because that's really a, a reflection of what's in the archetypes so maybe saying son's an assumption that's why I'm kind of making the distinction. It seems like, you know, the birth mother or the mother and there's one page. It seems like there's this singular type of uh, relationship. And even some of the next cards here, that the the two of cups, for example, the nine of uh, one, uh, swords also came up. But it's kind of like there's, a, there's not a three of cups. It's not like mother and two children. It's mother and child coming, coming in there, which I would sort of, given the evidence, what we've seen, I would say that's... Uh, let's say Lilibet, Lilibet and birth mother or mother. Uh, yeah, I get confused sometimes. Let that be known. But uh, don't we all let that be known? But there's, it, it seems to me, it's it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like, got to go your own way at this early stage. It's like, you know, and, you know, I, I want to say, all right, I don't know if you've known, this is a tough subject to approach. But I had seen in my own life some. I, okay, let's say without without having to uh, let's say spell it out what we're seeing here. I think people get the gist of what I'm saying. But some people do. Uh, there are a lot of similarities I'm seeing in this reading. Things I've seen uh, in my own experience, let's say, and uh, you know, in extended families and all the rest of it so uh let's just let's leave it at that shall we have you experienced this you know phenomenon let's say i think it has been talked about people know people know what i'm saying without sort of me having to get too far into it i don't want to choke on my aspirations here but in any event uh let's say that people know people people have discussed this before uh, how unusual this is and i am seeing that on the cards uh, even though it is difficult to talk about i am seeing it and I have, I think, seen that in my own sort of, you know, experience. And have you seen that? Let it be known in the comments. I'll see you in the comment section.